in this video we're going to be going over the front springs and the um, top mounts because the rubbish and on this car we're going to be the FRV Alright, so first of all you need to loosen off these wheel, wheel nuts, jack the car up and then um, I'll go from there in a second. So once you've um, once you took the wheel off and obviously jack the car up, um, you're gonna these bolts here, so you've got one and two bolts there. Um, and how I just keep them in order is by just basically doing what I've just done here. Now there are, I think there are two different types, different um, um, different sizes. I think they're 21 and 19, and then 20 and 19. From there, obviously, we're gonna remove the track rod, and and as I've removed it, um, as you can see, the buggers threaded so that's always a good is a good sign I didn't really want to replace it it's not always in the best position as well to remove so yeah I think what they must have done is when they originally tra tracked the car because I paid for the wheels and tracking on this car um, they threaded it buggers right let's carry on removing this I'll tell you what that went with a bang all right it's currently removed um, feels it feels all right. I could potentially replace it, but that okay. uh, And then yeah, we'll see from there. We'll see how I feel. Right. So now all that's been removed. It's literally hanging by. I've just got to undo them on the top. Right. So we've got your three fifteens here, and then um, your bolt here. Now, thinking about it, I should have undone these first because they're a bugger, a right bugger. Um, so if it comes to it, I may have to put the car back on the floor again because they are a bugger. We'll see. Okay, so they're not 15, they're 14. Um, And what I do with these loose knots, stick them on here. First one. So I'm not compensating for something. Got you. I'm just going to keep that on now. Down. Keep it safer. Right, so <clears throat> put the clamps on on both sides. And I've started unloosening that now. Um, it wasn't too bad getting it off. So, right. Right, so it's so this is off. Um, it doesn't look too bad, but as you can see, you can see what's been scraping. All right, let's have a look at this a second. All right, so just basically looking at that. Um, Buggered than it, but the issue is, is where am I going to get that part from? So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can just keep using it. Right, so looking at these two now, this one seems shorter. Oh, so one, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. It's got the same amount of springs. Uh, which way does it go? Does it go this way? Looks a bit skewy with there. 
Right, this should be a should be a directional way out of it anyway. Right, so <clears throat> the back on again. Um, just need to rotate that a little bit. Um, get it all in order and then put it back on. Right, so I'm just currently fastening up the three top nuts. Um, you don't really need to see the rest being done. So I'm pretty sure you can, you can gather what we're doing here. So as I was saying before about the different sizes, the um, side of the caliper, that's a 20 and the size of the, um, the other side's a 22. But as you can see, it's all back on. I just need to do that. And as you can see, ooh, that's gonna be absolutely lovely to thread back on. But it is what it is, isn't it? Let's hope I don't have to buy a new one for now because that's something I don't want to do. I've done this on my own. Got the bar there and I'm doing this. And then you can see it's keeping it, keeping it in. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. So yeah, so I'm just gonna keep fastening it. And then once I've done this, done that one, done this one here, um, I'll take you for a quick, give you a quick test drive, um, see how it sounds like, yeah. And then I'll get on with the other side. Um, <clears throat> the other side though is, I won't really film it because you've pretty much seen how I've done this one. <coughs> there we are. Get one more pull and then that size them. Right, so, believe it or not, <laughs> that actually wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um, probably took me an extra five minutes. So it's all bolted back up now, all nice and stiff. I have talked, talked them up to the right specific specifications. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I think what I'll do now is I'll have a go at trying to sort these out as well. Um, the drop links, follow me. Alright, so I don't really know the part numbers for these. Is this it here? Um, they were just cheap. I'll be honest, like nothing super special about them. Um, Alan, bit Alan key in the middle with the nut here, and basically your parts there that you need to replace. So um, let's give it a go. Let's see how much I can cry doing this as well. Also getting a nice long time while I'm on. Well, the last person that uh, did the drop links on me, uh, probably about two, three years ago. I don't know why they keep going through these, but it's probably the amount of um, how bad the roads are around here because it's humps, bumps, potholes, everything. Have a look at this. Whoever did it last is cut here. They're cut there. Cut there to get it off. But that's the problem when you buy cheap parts. You know. um, on, on. There's an Allen head there. And obviously that, but on this one here, it's just here, and um, as you can see, completely rounded that. So let's hope these ones go on, if not, I'm buggered. Right, so that's on now. Um, something's just bugging me about it. That, that it just doesn't feel like it's a right, it's a right one. Yeah. It just, I don't know, I don't know what it is, I just don't, don't feel it's the right one for this. But yeah, pretty much what I'm going to do now is um, just take it for a quick test drive, put the wheels back on, take it for a quick test drive, see how it feels, just make sure it all runs smooth, and then we'll get onto the other side. Alright, to finish this video off, I'm going to show you the part number. And this one here. Now just doing that one side alone has transformed um, transformed it massively um, transformed the actual um, ride so I'm, I'm just ashamed I couldn't sort the back out because um, they need an impact wrench I need someone to be able to get enough perch underneath so you know I think I'm going to leave it on that one for today so I'll say thanks for stopping by thanks for watching and yeah I'll see you in the next one